the problem child, Aaron Roberts. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling. Take a look at this guy. So disappointed in him. I've known him since he was a kid. Of course, Big Red, his father, has been in the business around this area for a long, long time. He was on the program several weeks back. Couldn't talk any sense in this guy. We heard from Zay Washington last week, and he thinks it's jealousy. Because none of this happened. They were best friends, tag team partners, until Zay won the internet championship. And now here we are. I think I agree with Zay Washington. There's got to be a little bit of jealousy or something under the skin of Aaron Roberts. Because if you are true friends, you're happy for your friend's success. And there's the champ. Usually has a big smile on his face. Usually high fives the fans, but not today. He's ready for a fight. Let's head down to the ring for the official championship introductions from our good friend Terrence Ward. The following contest out, is Terrence. our main event. Schedule with TV time remaining. Introducing first the challenger from the Dirty Bird, weighing in at 370 pounds. He's accompanied by just in case. He is the problem child, Aaron Roberts. That's the first mention of the man next to Aaron Roberts, and his name is Justin Case. And introducing next, from Trenton, Tennessee, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the reigning, defending Memphis Wrestling Internet Champion, Zay Washington. Now, Pete, is this a little weird? Is it a little awkward to see the Young Goats, former two-time tag team champions, on opposing sides of the ring, vying for a singles championship, and it's all because of what Aaron Roberts did to Zay Washington turning his back. Is that a little odd to watch? It is. You hate to see friendships dissolve, and not only dissolve, but turn into... Oh, oh. hey, did you see that? Yeah. There's a chain. Referee throws it to the ground. Here, let me grab it, Pete. Yeah. Don't let Justin Case get a hold of that. I apologize if my headset's making noise, but I've got that chain. It was a chain he found. Bell rings were underway. It's the chosen one, Zay Washington, against the problem child, Aaron Roberts. And look at that. Oh, watch out. Watch out. He might even jump to the desk. Suicide dive right into the desk. Oh, my goodness. Zay laid it on his feet. These two men used to be best friends, almost like brothers. Look at Justin Case getting involved. Now they hate each other's guts. Big oh. knee to the face. Zay Washington. The power of Aaron Roberts. What a kick. Now a knee lift. What an enziguri! But it's hard to knock Aaron off his feet. 300 plus pounds of problem child. Absolutely hard to get off his feet and Zay's going to the top ropes to do just that. Nobody home. Aaron Roberts. Oh, and he just mows down Zay Washington. Big right-handed clothesline. Washington down in the middle of the ring. Fans, we've got to take our final commercial break. Don't you dare go away. This title match continues. All right, man, who is your MVP of the week? My MVP this week has to go to the Boz. Tim Bosby is my MVP. Just like you said in the beginning of this program, his what second second match uh, or second or third uh, technically. And we got he, yeah, we got three we got three right. matches on video counting to one from New Albany. So yeah, yeah, right. He's just looking like a star to me. I think he's going to just continue to push the envelope here. You know, we were talking about uh, the future of Memphis wrestling, and with Tim Bosby, oh my god, BT. I, I want to see Tim Bosby versus Alan Steele. 
Uh, we want to, and, and we want to see. We want to be sitting here next year and saying, "We told you so. Yeah. We told you yes. so." Yes. MVP for me this week. Uh, Team Wrestle Center. I love the uh, uh, Mackenzie Morgan. As I said, looked fantastic. Ray Ray looked good, and they had you know Coach DK right there in the middle. I'm giving the my MVP to Team Wrestle Center. <laughs> Ninety six X is Indy. Ninety six X is Alternative. Ninety six X is Memphis. And this is the Ninety six X Insult of the Week. Derek, the wannabe king, you got that turncoat, that turncoat Ray Ray. Let's be ready. And you got that bimbo announcer. I cannot. I'm glad you slapped her taste out of her mouth. You understand me? Listen live anywhere in the world at ninety six X Memphis com. Memphis Wrestling is on fire. Catch us live. Do you want to be on TV? Now's your chance. Join us Wednesday, November 30th at the Wrestle Center for a Memphis Wrestling themed music video featuring Hope Claiborne. Tickets are free. Reserve your seats right now. Sunday, December 4th, we celebrate hardcore holidays with ECW legend Tommy Dreamer. Saturday, December 17th, Impact Wrestling Superstar Moose is coming to Memphis Wrestling for the Grind City Rumble. Celebrate our 100th episode live. All tickets are on sale now. Get yours right now at championshipwrestlingmemphis.com. It's time for the Southern Roofing and Renovations Slam of the Week. Looks like an electric chair of sorts. It is Electric Chair Slam from Tim Bosby. Need help? Call Anthony at 901-672-1292. Is your dream to become a professional wrestler or sports entertainer? Let's make that dream a reality. Train with the best at the Memphis Wrestling Wrestle Center. Enrolling now at WrestleCenter901.com. Welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and you can hear what the Wrestle Center thinks of Aaron Roberts, as it was much of the same during the commercial break. Total onslaught from the problem child. Last week, we heard from Zay. He says he thinks Aaron's jealous. He's gone from being angry and upset to thinking it's outright jealousy. And of course, Aaron Roberts denies that fact. Who would admit to it? Denial is just not a river in Egypt. Oh and there's my Justin goodness. Case again, inserting himself into the action unnecessarily. Low bridge pulling that rope down and Zay tipped over and lands nasty on the apron and on the concrete floor. Pete, we do not have pads at ringside on the ground here at the Wrestle Center. arrogance from Aaron Roberts wiping his brow entirely too casual if he wants this title so badly less styling less profiling more wrestling and it delivers a big right hand what a shot and if you notice the gear that both men are wearing matching gear from their young goat days oh and he eats the hard turnbuckle the steel turnbuckle post Holy moly, what a slam. Have a feeling I know what's coming next. It's the problem bomb. The same thing he took Big Dan out with. The same thing he landed on Zay Washington when they split. Will he hit it here today and win the internet championship? Just in case, just said, go finish him. Feet oh. got up, right to the face. Nice counter by the Chosen One. Duck under, big chop by Zay Washington. Another big chop. You can see Aaron's trying to just take those blows, but what a neck breaker from Zay Washington. Near fall with a two count, Pete. New champion here today. 
Both men have had their moments. Size advantage, obviously, to Aaron Roberts. But Zay Washington will not give up the gold easily. And once again, into the ring post. Hard into the ring post. And another chain. So wait, did he just pull that chain out of the turnbuckle pad? He did pull the chain out of the turnbuckle. He and had to have hidden that earlier. We'll go back and review the footage. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. There's a chain now. Zay Washington has it. Turnabout fair play, possibly. Look, the ref is intervening here. And what is, what is that? Another Whatever. foreign object, just in case, throwing it in the ring. Bell rings. A what? can of spray paint. Is that a can of, can of spray paint? Spray paint. I've never seen that before. He's hit allegedly, or apparently, uh, I rather, just, I've never seen that before. Petey just hit Zay in the back of the head with a aluminum can of spray paint. What's he going to do? Hey, what are you doing? At the belt on the floor, what are you going to do? Aaron Roberts has a can of spray paint with his foot on the championship. What the heck is going on here? Oh, you got to be kidding me. Spray paint the championship belt. The hell is wrong with you? Fans, he just spray painted the internet championship all over the floor here at the Wrestle Center. Oh, and he's and going for more against Zay Washington. Heading back in with a huge power bomb. Aaron Roberts has just done the unthinkable. I've never seen anything like this. Literally got himself disqualified. He says he's not jealous. Maybe that's what he means. It doesn't, the championship doesn't matter. Oh, just in case, threw a metal chair into the ring and Zay Washington getting his head rammed into that steel chair by Aaron Roberts. We need some help or we need David Knight to get in there. No, David Knight needs to stay where he is. Somebody needs to stop him. Absolutely despicable stuff from Aaron Roberts. He desecrated the internet championship belt. Now he's about to crush Zay Washington. Steel chair! Oh my goodness! We need some serious help for Zay Washington. Aaron Roberts has lost his ever-loving mind, along with Justin Case. Fans, we are running low on time. We'll stay here as long as we possibly can. What have you done? What have you done, Aaron? You just say respect like he knows anything about respect after what you did to that championship belt. And then walking out of here, fans, I apologize for what's transpired. The internet championship has been desecrated right here on television. It's been spray painted black. I don't know what to say, Pete. Absolutely despicable by, by Aaron Roberts. He has totally lost control with what he did to Big Dan and what he did here today. We're going to get some help for Zay Washington fans. I apologize for how we're going off the air, but we are all out of time. I am Dustin Starr. He's Pete Franica, and I cannot believe what we've just seen here on Memphis Wrestling. We'll see you next week. I am a problem. You cannot solve me. I am a problem. You cannot stop me. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem. If you want a problem, I can be a problem.
problem child. If you really want a problem, I'm the man right here. Anything jump in this ring, I'll catch these hands right here. Yeah, yeah, get bold if you want.